If you have an early Apple IIc that does this with some software, then this video is for you because I'm going to show you how to fix it. Junior, you might think they're similar, but this one can only run this many programs, while the Apple IIc can run this many. The Apple comes with its disk drive built in, so it's much smaller. Even the price is small. Now, which one would you rather take on? The new Apple IIc. Since 1977, the Apple II had been using the MOS 6502 chip. However, the Apple IIc uses a newer 65CO2 chip. Early revision 2Cs from 84 and 85 have an earlier version of this chip which isn't 100% compatible with all Apple II software. The problem was fixed on later 2C revisions. An early revision Apple IIc can be identified by its serial number. The second character is the year it was produced, 1985 in my case. So how do we fix this problem? Since the error code points to a compatibility issue with the processor, I thought I would try installing a newer processor. I decided to go with the R65CO2P chip from Reactive Micro. Installing the chip is pretty easy. The first step is to remove the screws from the bottom of the Apple IIc. Only the six outer screws will need to come out. The four inner screws hold the floppy drive in and don't need to be removed for this job. Once the six screws are out, flip the machine back over and remove the top cover. Next, the keyboard will need to be removed by lifting the front up and sliding it forward, then disconnecting the ribbon cable from the motherboard. At this point, I now have access to the CPU. Most Apple IIcs won't have this RAM upgrade installed, however the process is still the same. Locate the original 65CO2 chip and gently pry it out of its socket. Now is a good time to remove the new R65CO2P from its anti-static bag. If we look closely, we can see the model numbers on the chips are different. Install the new chip into the socket, making sure all the pins are lined up with their sockets, and gently seat the chip in place. Now it's time to reassemble the machine. First, replace the keyboard ribbon cable and line the notches on the front of the keyboard up with the slots in the disk drive until the bottom of the keyboard drops down into place. Next, replace the handle into its area in the bottom case. Now take the top cover and align it with the front of the machine and gently lower the back down over the top of the machine. At this point, Flip the computer over and replace the six screws which hold the case together. With the Apple IIc upgraded and put back together, it's time to test it out with some fussy software. I decided to try Miss Pac-Man first. After sticking the disc in and turning on the power, to my relief the game started without issue. Next, I tried Choplifter, which had also previously refused to start. The Apple IIc is a favorite among collectors. If you are the proud owner of an early 84 or 85 model like me, then upgrading the original processor is a must if you want to get the most out of this classic Apple computer. Thanks for watching.